I came across a verse in the book of Jeremiah that I wanted to share, because within a single Hebrew word, it shows God's plan to bring Israel home and to establish a new generation of people who would call him Father. By the time Father speaks these words, he had already kicked the northern tribes of Israel off his land, and Judah was next. Because all of them, he said, were an adulterous people who prostituted themselves with other gods. Judah would soon be back to the land for the sake of Messiah, but the northern tribes were destined to be lost. It's written that he had divorced them by this time. Nevertheless, he had a plan to bring them back, and he wanted to fulfill his word to Abraham to give his descendants a land, and these tribes are the descendants of Abraham. So in this verse that I'm about to read, he tells us what his plan was. He says, How can I put you among the sons and give you a pleasant land, a goodly heritage, the host of nations? The word that's translated as among the sons is Ba-Banim. The root word of Ba-Banim is Ben, which means son. If you add Im to the end of a word in Hebrew, it makes it plural. So Ben, or son, becomes Banim, which means sons, and also children. The letter Beit in original Hebrew is a picture of a house, and it's added to the beginning of words as a prefix to mean in and with. Put it all together, and the word Ba Banim means in with the children. So God is asking himself, how can I make these unfaithful people my children so I can give them an inheritance? And here is his answer. Avi, Tikre, Li. Avi, my father, you will call me. Yeshua explained to Nicodemus that you have to be born in the flesh and of the spirit to enter the kingdom of God. Your birth in the spirit is where you start calling God Avi, like he said, and you become placed, Ba Banim, into the house of God as one of his children. And this happens whether you're born in the flesh as a descendant of Israel or as one of the nations. When you're a son or a daughter of God, this here becomes your genealogy in the spirit. It's written that God was the father of Adam, who was the father of Seth, who was the father of son after son after son, until Yeshua. From the time of Yeshua, this genealogy that was once being tracked in the flesh can now only continue in his spirit. To those who are given life in the spirit, Yeshua refers to us as his brethren, his brothers and sisters. This is why he says, when you pray, pray to our father. The word for our father in Hebrew is Avinu. Av is father. Avi is my father. Avinu is our father. Now, if we all have the same father, then we are all of the same generation. You, me, Peter, Paul, all of the apostles. Our father is God, so we are of the same generation. When Yeshua says, speaking of the end of days, that this generation shall not pass away until all these things are fulfilled, he's referring to the generation that he came to establish, that is, those whose father is God. This generation includes the disciples who stood there with him as he spoke that day, and it also includes us today. This generation is 2,000 years old. The Bab Anim part of the Jeremiah 3 prophecy has been fulfilled. Father made a way for Israel and the nations to be placed among the children. If you have the heart of the Father, you are awaiting the second part of the prophecy that is yet to come, which is when he gives the land between the rivers to the descendants of Jacob. To fulfill this promise will take a miracle, because most of the tribes of Israel are lost and untraceable while Judah and the tribes associated with them have thousands of years of shared customs and DNA to help identify them, the Ten Lost Tribes gave up their customs 3,000 years ago when they started worshipping new and foreign gods under Jeroboam. You won't find them through customs or DNA. But Father knows who they are. And it's written that he himself will identify and gather them in the end of days. He will do this because this is how he wants his kingdom on earth set up when he returns. 
with a house of prayer for all peoples in the land of Israel, surrounded by the tribes. It's written that in those days, Jerusalem will be called the throne of Yohevohe. All nations will gather to Jerusalem, and God, our Father, Avinu, will be there in the city, among his children. <laughs> 